Good afternoon, good people. Dumelan Khe. Um, let me start, program director, by thanking you. Oh, okay, thank you very much for the opportunity, uh, Voyo. You speak so well. Um, let me also acknowledge the ward councillor, Mr. Bongani Lamini. Thank you for welcoming us to your ward. I was a ward councillor myself, so I know the space that you're operating and whew, the accolades you gave to the people from Orlando. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that we appreciate as well. Um, MMC is present. Thank you, but also let me acknowledge you and thank you for the support that you give me as MEC in this position. The President of the Houghton Sports Council, Mr. Vivian Lottering, Mr. Vivian Lottering, and members of the Houghton Sports Awards Adjudication Panel, all of you nice people, um, and your auditors as well. Um, the representative of Sports Federation and Sports Stakeholders, all of the people that I met and whose hands I shook, and everybody else whose hands I did not shake, I also acknowledge you. You, I mean, you can see this. I don't know how many of you, I could not shake all of your hands, but I acknowledge all of you, all of your presence. So, <laughs> uh, most important of all nominees of the 2022 Houghton Sports Awards. Yes, um, President, you are, you, are, you are correct. Just the fact that they chose to participate in sports and compete makes them winners. Whether they will be getting that award on, in January or not, the fact that they are here and they do what they do, they are winners. Um, the head of department, uh, Mr. Vianne Pofu, and all senior managers, the team that makes the department tick, I acknowledge you. The PCO staff is also here. What can say? Yes. Uh, you, the work that you do for us to have contact with the community is also very important so i want to acknowledge you as well executive uh, managers and officials from local government mmc the team that you work with all mmc's the team that you work with ladies and gentlemen you know before i even start by sharing with you what i want to share uh, president um vivian i want to i just want to add to something that you said earlier on about Houghton being the, um, uh, the home of champions, but also giving credit to people who participate in sport or who participate in whatever field that they are in. On the 26th of October, I was asked to go to um, Clapham High School in Swan. You know, as a department, we have um, what we call school sports. So this team of 23 young people, eh? there were 23, they won all of the competitions and they, on the 26th, were leaving for Malawi to represent South Africa, playing against other countries. They came back this morning, or is this morning, and they are champions, they won. So, so, so what I want to say to you, President, is that they are not included in what we are doing today. But I want us and yourselves, including you, the panel, so that you, you know you are prepared for, for, for the next round. I don't know when they are coming because they are still in high school, but so that you are prepared and you, know, you, you get to appreciate the work that you do. I think we need to celebrate those young people as well. I think we need to do that. So I want to commit the, the HOB and the senior managers as, and yourselves in public so that you don't renege on. No, thank you. I just wanted that acknowledgement. But it's important because it's going to encourage them to continue doing what they're doing and winning. When they left, I said to them that, you know, you're going to be competing against other, other countries. Maybe when you come back, you won't necessarily be bringing the trophy with. But the fact that you chose to go and compete, that in itself, to me, makes you winners. And I think it gave them courage enough to go and say, because they told me that, no, we are bringing the trophy back. And they brought it back. So we are going to celebrate those children somehow. I don't know how the, the HOD and the, uh, the senior managers and, and yourselves are going to do it, but we are celebrating those children. So we are committed to doing that. So on the 18th of August um, this year, 
Um, the 11th edition of the annual Houghton Sports Awards was launched and this was done at the Bristol Sports Facility and I think um, the, the program director actually alluded to that. So the date of the gala event will be on the 28th of January next year at a venue still to be decided but what I can confirm is that the venue is going to be in one of the townships in the five regions. So we are taking it to townships now. We really, because most of the talent that we are going to be celebrating comes from townships anyway. So we need to take this to the township. We are also looking most probably, um, most probably, I don't know, there are a few contenders that we looked at. If not, we'll probably take it to one of the tertiary institutions. Because you have centers of excellence, you are very good with sports, and you, you know, you teach people how to be, um, uh, you give them sports um, degrees. So we're looking at that township or a, a, a tertiary institution in a township. Some of them are in townships. So that's what we're going to be doing differently this year. Um, the provincial sports awards are now configured to build up to national sports awards to be hosted by the National Department of Sports later um, in the year. Therefore, the winners in the categories aligned with the National Sports Awards will be entered automatically, the winners of what we're doing today. So we remain steadfast in our belief that sports contributes to radical social and economic transformation of our province. The current premier when he was inaugurated, when you know he signed his commitment to saving the provinces, he actually alluded to this, and he made us all, all of us, all of us uh, embassies, to commit to this. So all of us committed to to what he committed to. So together with him, we are going to make sure that this is realized. Mm -hmm. Hence, we do not view sports as mere recreation. Our province continues to attract the best sportsmen and women from our country and internationally. We value the partnerships with all our stakeholders and value your contribution to not only the sports awards, but also to all the programs that are implemented in the province. Today, I met about two stakeholders. I don't have the permission to, to mention their names but you will get to because we're also going to have a pre press conference with them, I think, sometime next week. But what I appreciated about them is that they are in, in, in football. Um, but what I appreciated about what they do is that their agenda is very developmental. They agreed to work with us on the school's um, football program. They're going to be bringing their scouts and their coaches to our program to help us to build our, especially football, but it's not the only sporting code that will be working with us on. I think it will be across the board, but we'll still, when we do the, pre, the press conference with them, we'll then outline all the areas of collaboration with them. But it's something that we're looking forward to because talent is going to be nurtured from school level. And they promise that they're going to, obviously after we sign a memorandum of understanding with them, they'll have to stick to that. Uh, but they promise that they are going to nurture those children up to, depending on how talented the children are, up to a professional level. So they will be having the next meeting that we have, you will be part of that meeting so that you guide us because that's your area of expertise. But we have a commitment that we're going to work with them. So as Houghton, we are determined to remain a home and destination for talent, identification across sports, arts and culture. We will therefore use the Sports Awards to profile our province as a destination for all sports women and men from across the country and across the continent of Africa to come and excel and be recognized for their talent. There are much exciting success stories that we want to honor as the, as the province of Houghton. We want to honor and give recognition and to say, keep up the good work until we get our young people off the streets. We have a huge problem, Council, I'm sure you can attest to that. Our children are exposed to things that we at our age were not exposed to. Drugs are everywhere. Anywhere you go, if you were to take two, three, four steps outside the, per outside the perimeter of the stadium, 
I'm sure you will see two or three children that are addicted to drugs. So our belief is that if we give them enough opportunities like sports, mm -hmm. they won't even have a window of trying, of wanting to experiment with drugs, alcohol, and all of these bad things. So it's a commitment that all of us made with the Premier when we were sworn in that we are going to focus on that. We know, I mean, we are not, we are not, we are not oblivious to the fact that it's not an easy battle. It's, it's going to be an easy battle to win, but we have got to start somewhere. And when we start, we must be committed and make sure that we at least rescue some of those children. Those that are addicted already, we know that it's going to be an uphill battle, but we are not going to our, our hands clean of them. We are going to give them an opportunity and we hope that you will be working with us on that. So there are 20 categories and today we are announcing the finalists in each category. One, one category will be voted via SMS by the public and that category is the category of Sports Personality of the Year. The prize money will be increased for this year's awards. Um, and that input came from yourselves, by the way. It was your contribution and you guided us in, you know, the room um, that we had to play within where we as well had to be careful that we don't find ourselves on the wrong side of the law and we appreciate that, the, but the price money is going to be increased. Again this year we will ensure that price money is paid within 30 working days. So we don't want to embarrass anyone, we don't want to embarrass ourselves either, but we want you to understand that we also work within the ambit of the law, but we are committed to the fact that within the 30 working days as prescribed in law, all of the price money will be, um, will be paid. And this will happen immediately after the announcement of the winners. So this year's finalists were shortlisted by a panel of in a person um, and they were represented by individuals from the media, from academia, and um, the sports fraternity. These year's awards are launched under the theme, Celebrating Excellence, Inspiring the Youth. The following partners have been consolidated. Vodacom has been secured for the SMS line, SABC for the delayed broadcast, and the Gauteng Sports Federation. So. This is the part that you were waiting for. The announcements of the finalists for this year's awards. Thank you very much, Program Director. Ladies and gentlemen, here are your finalists for the 2022 Gauteng Sport Awards. Sportman of the Year. Swimming. Thomas van Regenforsel. Equestrian. Johan Daniel van Fieren. Athletics. Sportwoman of the Year. Tiani Debord, Karate. Ayabonga Kaga, Cricket. Lara van der Gel, Swimming. Most Promising Team of the Year. Queens Pink Rugby Club, Rugby, University of Pretoria Rowing Club, Rowing, Zayo High School Rugby Club, Rugby, Sportwoman of the Year with a Disability. Dimagazo, Litaheng, Para Athletics. Yale 
van der Meerwel, the South African Sport Association for Physically Disabled. Michelle Masifako Mohanedi, Wheelchair Basketball. Sportman of the Year with a Disability. Arthur McGee, Cricket. Laiketh Aziz. Ocha Jacques Joubert Judo Sport Team of the Year with a Disability Titans Deaf Cricket Team Cricket Disability is ability, sport club, multi-coded. UJ SSD, multi-coded. Coach of the year. Emma Renike. Athletics Omar Zayn Eden Table Tennis Dr. Elsie Yodan Netball Technical Official of the Year Michelle Joubert, Hockey Sandile Dilikani, Football Peter Diacher, Athletics Administrator of the Year Athletics Wiseman Zamini Wheelchair Basketball Willem Yaku Kutsir Rugby Most Promising Athlete of the Year Matisse, football. Zaliga Metula, diving. Benjamin Richardson, athletics. Chloe Bedenhorst, chess. Virtual Sport and Recreation Program of the Year. Rita Imchenblik, Athletics. CAD Volleyball Club, Volleyball. Gert Mulder, Blue Bulls Coaches Association, Rugby. of the year. Nelly Manelis, Dubai Football. Leila Harrison, Rugby. Oliver Mpasele, Football. Sport 
journalist of the year. Musibudi Kwanele Whitehead, the top runner. Timothy Maranda, Radio 2000. Palisa Manaling, Prime Media. Amayanga Yanga, Athlete of the Year. Andile Zamini, Volleyball. Grace Prince, Life Saving. Caleb Levi, Liverton, Chess. and Recreation Program of the Year. Guatema Disability Club, Multicoded. Altas Sport, Multicoded. Remember Elite Sport Academy, Football. Federation of the Year. Central Gauteng Lions Blind Cricket. Blind Cricket. University Sport South Africa Athletics. Athletics. Aquatics Gauteng Swimming. Community Sports Media of the Year. <laughs> Port FM. Molomo Marketing TV. Twane FM. Lifetime Achiever of the Year to be announced by the MEC. Sport Personality of the Year. Dupree, Cycling Andy Lesamini, Football Laura Van Gerg, Swimming Asanda Isaac Bita, Blind Cricket For your favorite sport personality of the year by SMSing the code to 36199. Well done to all the finalists.